What's up, guys? Tonight on All Sports Central, we're going to be going over the Iowa Hawkeyes 2019 final predictions. Now, this was a team last season. I kind of exceeded my expectations. I expected them to probably get maybe seven or eight wins, but they ended up getting nine. So, overall, pretty good season for Iowa compared to recent years, at least. Uh, but how are they going to do in 2019 is what we're going over here today. They returned their key quarterback, Nate Stanley. He had 2,800 yards, 26 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions last year. Uh, so overall, Nate Stanley, he's breaking up a really good year. I do expect him to possibly hit the 3,000 mark. They may, or their main running back, Sergeant and Young, both will return. That's going to be huge for this team. Uh, but they do lose their tight ends, Vance and Hawkinson. Uh, Nate Stanley used them a ton, so it's going to be, it could be a little bit of an adjustment there for him to have to. Um, change his tight ends a little bit, but then they also lose easily, and he's a receiver. Their wide receiver position is a little bit questionable for 2019 as well. They're um, really, I mean, their the running core is probably going to be something that's going to be really used next season because they're losing quite a few receivers, so that's going to be having to be something that they're going to have to make up on. Uh, but the defense takes hits in places too, so that's going to be something to note there. Uh, Big Ten championship chances for 2019. I really do believe. I mean, I was part of. I'd say four or five teams, like Nebraska is another one, uh, Purdue, Minnesota, um, all of those teams, Northwestern, all of them have um, chances for 2019 to make into the Big Ten Championship. I think Iowa, though, probably is in the top position there to possibly get it. Um, but how much will losing the tight ends affect quarterback Nate Stanley is going to be a question that I can't really answer right now. Uh, it just depends on how well he's going to be able to adjust to using mostly wide receivers. It was really, I mean, Hawkinson and Fant, they were used a ton. They had um, an insane amount of yards last season. And so it's going to be tough an adjustment for their, uh, for Nate Stanley, but I think he'll be okay. Looking at their schedule for next season, you start off with Miami, Ohio to start off the season. Easy win there. Same with the Rutgers game as well. And then you got Iowa State on the road. Now, Iowa State's going to be a team I expect to finish probably third in the Big 12 next season. This team's going to be good. And so it's going to be a tough game on the road. And with it being a rivalry game, I think that's going to end up being a loss there. Uh, as much as you're going to want to win that game in Ames, I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, Middle Tennessee, then on September 28th, that's going to be a win. Michigan, Penn State, two very tough games. Uh, I think that Penn State game, I mean, they've got a pretty good shot there with it being at home. But the thing is, though, I mean, it's Penn State. And, of course, playing at Michigan on the road, that's a tough game to, or it's a tough place to play. So I'm going to give them two losses there. Purdue and Northwestern. Two games that you really need to win to stay in the race for the Big Ten West, if you even have a shot at it anymore. Um, I think they win both of those by close margins. That Northwestern game is going to be a interesting one for sure with it being on the road. I think Northwestern at that point in the season probably will be towards the top of the Big Ten West. So, I mean, really every game in the Big Ten West, every single team needs to win as many of those Big Ten West games as you can because, I mean, every single one of them are crucial. I think, I mean, five of the seven teams in that division could make the Big Ten Championship next season. I mean, that's not really a it's not really a joke. I mean, we got so many, I mean, like, yeah, Wisconsin's in that mix as well. That's on November 9th. I think you're going to get a loss there. But, and then you got Minnesota, Illinois, Nebraska. So, really, I mean, it's a, it's a possible chance that six of the seven teams, if you include Wisconsin in there, could make it. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Uh, but, yeah, then you got Nebraska finish off the season. I think that's going to be a loss. Nebraska is going to be really motivated there with it being at home. That's going to be a loss. I think they're going to go 7-5 and five in 2019. So, yeah, looking at your four major games for the next season, you got Iowa State, Michigan, Penn State, Nebraska. Overall, this is a pretty tough schedule for this team, especially since I'm expecting Iowa State and Nebraska to be pretty good. So, uh, yeah, those are your four games. That I think that if you're, I mean, those are games that you really want to win, but it's going to be tough to win. If you can win one of those, I think that that's a pretty, it gives you a pretty good chance to possibly get to eight wins. Um, that'd be overall, I think, a pretty good season. But yeah, seven and five, be a little bit of a down year for Iowa, I think, especially with the, uh, I mean, you got several losses on both sides of the ball, so that's going to be kind of difficult to overcome. But yeah, within a couple years, they probably will be right back where they usually are. Um, yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts on Iowa in the comments below. Once again, it should be an interesting team going into this season. I think it'll be a little bit of a down year. Um, once again, but let me know your guys' thoughts. Am I wrong? Or are they going to be better than that? Uh, let me your thoughts go unknown if you disagree with this, because I'm sure many guys will disagree with this. <laughs> it's just bound to happen when you when you're uh, preview a team that could decline a little bit the next season. It just kind of happens that way. But once again, thanks all for watching, and stay tuned for more from All Sports Central.